Hello, Overforce. Today, I want to talk about an article I found on Bounding in the Comics. It's been a topic I've been thinking about, and I want to dive in a little bit deeper and what's in this article as well. Former Batman writer Tom King issues apology to DC Comics artist Jay Lee. So let's check it out. <laughs> All right, first and foremost, before we get in too deep, I just want to apologize for the fan noise, but it gets hot in my office without a fan or air conditioner running, and I have the fan going. It's the lesser of two evils. And also, if you want to help support my channel, one of the best ways you can do is just hit like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you really find yourself in a good position to help the channel, we do have a Patreon or a subscribe star. Links are down below. We'd be greatly appreciate you to get special Patreon subscribe star support. If you either or gives the same special support, uh, gets you get the special privileges of special uh, videos only to you. Sometimes a voting, some other fun stuff too. You get also random frugal gifts. So I just send you gifts once in a while because that's the way we like to do it around here. Well, anyway, former Batman writer Tom King issues apology to DC Comics artist Jay Lee. This is by John F. Trent, released today on Bounding in the Comics. A pretty interesting site. If you get sick of the traditional left-wing bullcrap, this might be a good site to go to. All right, it says former Batman writer Tom King took to Twitter to issue an apology to DC Comics artist Jay Lee after he insinuated that Lee was part of a hate group. And he really did point that out. We'll look at that here, too. And I have issue with his apology as well. After DC Comics shared a variant cover for Rorschach No. 1 by Jay Ling, King took to Twitter, where he wrote today, DC put out an alternate cover to Rorschach by Jay Lee, who has also done covers for Comics Gate, a hate group, Comics Gate, the hate group, and you can see the tweets right here. Yes. He added DC does not consult creators on alternate covers, and if I covered it already in a previous video, they don't have to. DC does not have to consult their hired help before making a decision. Boy, Tom King, that is not how business works. I don't... Once, once in a while, I scratch my head just wonder. These people have no idea of how the world works, how business works. When do you have to go to all your employees and ask how to do something, if you should do it or not? Sure, maybe you can on occasion if it's something you don't know, but I'm pretty sure DC knows what they're doing. Well, sometimes. <laughs> so I reached out to them to express my deep disappointment, he says. As far as I'm concerned, this is the cover of Rorschach number one. So not only did he jump to conclusions and make a fool of himself, he didn't really get the rally cry of support that he wanted. He got sort of a bit of a hum that, st that started in the back. It's because all these people, these networks that secretly want to work for these companies, so they're afraid to say anything to make themselves look bad to DC. The targeting of Lee, though, would come almost 10 days after DC had announced King's upcoming Rorschach series that made it abundantly clear that Lee would be doing a variant cover for the first issue. So in other words, it's going to get a lot of attention. So, you know, hate mobs have to come out, right? Because, you know, you're not allowed to, to do something if you don't support it. So King would follow up this tweet, though, with the subsequent one where he wrote, I spoke with Jay. He's not on Twitter didn't know Comic Skate existed and doesn't support hate of any kind. We're all good. Best possible outcome. No, the best possible outcome I mentioned in my previous video would be him to shut his mouth. He had no business doing that. He tried to end a guy's career because he doesn't agree with who somebody might have done work for. How ridiculous. But, you know, he got, he cashed in his chips here and got his, got his wins, his cancel credit, if you will. And even though he's going to turn around and apologize, if you will, the damage has already been done. King's comments appeared to be referenced to a variant cover he did for Ethan Van Skyver Cyberfrog 2. Wreck Planet is currently crowdfunded on Diddy Gogo, so you can see it there. Yeah, there you go. So following King's comments, Lee would respond on Instagram. And this is very important. Lee wrote, Two weeks ago, June and I took Loki to San Diego to see a specialist. He did not survive due to complications of surgery. Now, granted, this is just a dog, but to be clear on that, a dog is like a child to a lot of people. Their pet, their family pet's very close to them. It means a lot. So that actually does hit them very hard. It's almost, to, to I wouldn't say quite the extent of losing a child, but it's close as you could probably ask to it at that point. He continued, this past Friday was supposed to be a day of mourning. We were back in San Diego to pick up his ashes. We were going to take him to the beach and confront each other by sharing our favorite stories about our little boy. He then stated, Instead, a part of the internet I avoid like the plague came barging in. I had companies I'm working for calling me, 
friends reaching out to me. I'm seeing hate pouring out of strangers' mouths, accusing me of things I have no knowledge of. Now, just imagine that. You're trying to relax. You're trying to you get over an animal that you've spent a lot of years with. That's, you know, man's best friend, if you will. Uh, the, the, the kid of the family. And all of a sudden, you get a call from your work. The companies you're working for. Uh, what's this going on about a hate group? Your friends calling you and contacting you? I, I mean, really? Think about that. Think of the intrusion that is. I'm seeing, and this is the key right here, I'm seeing firsthand how fast lies are spreading. See, and that's something, we, we, one of the things we've been saying a long time, is hate spreads so fast, and these hate groups, these whisper networks, spread so much crap, so much manure so fast, that they can't even smell their own farts anymore. So he put, let me be clear, I'm not part of any group, Lee added. He went on, we never made it, to the beach. We spent the entire six hour drive back home on an emotional roller coaster, probably trying to explain himself, what he's done, and why he's not in a hate group. Lee then expressed his anger, which he should have. I mean, getting calls from your boss and everything out of this? And in quotes, I'm writing this because I'm angry. These irresponsible tweets are not harmless. They do not just go away, they have real world consequences. And there's a point that it's very important to be made there. He has rights to be angry. They were irresponsible tweets. They were made and they're completely untrue. He didn't do it, you know, any look into it at all. And they were, let's be clear, trying to cost him his job. Mr. Tom King did not just, oops, I didn't mean to do that. No, that had a clear intent to ruin this man's career. And then his response was, best possible outcome. What? You just tried to ruin a man's career. His take away his livelihood and was, oops, my bad. I should have actually uh, done a little research because he didn't get the, the push that he wanted. Really, it sort of bounced back on him and made him look like an a-hole. It did. It made King look like a dick. And so therefore, he folded faster than a cheap piece of toilet paper. He folded faster than, I don't know. Well, make up your own insinuations there, but he sure did fold fast. Now King has posted a public apology on Twitter to cover his rear. King wrote, in quotes, As I have done privately, I'd like to publicly apologize to Jay Lee for my actions a few days ago. Maybe you should have talked to Jay Lee in private before just jumping out on him in public. That insincerity is so overwhelming. That is complete cop-out and bullcrap. If he really cared anything about Jay Lee, he would have talked to him in private in the first place, not put him on blast in public, and then talked to him in private after it didn't go the way he wanted to. Think about that. That is not a man. That's a gutless, ballless sack of feces. Yes, I just called Tom King a gutless, ballless sack of feces. He continued, I should have talked with Jay before I sent a tweet about him that put his career at risk. Yeah, thank you, genius. This is the same guy that likes to brag about where he used to work, right? I wonder why he's not working there anymore. I mean, what was he, the janitor? Right, what was he, FBI, CIA, whatever? He's, it was a janitor, probably, of the place. I mean, ridiculous. I made a critical mistake, and I'm profoundly sorry. No, you're sorry because you got caught. You're sorry because you didn't get the currency from the cancellation that you expected. The cha-ching didn't quite go your way. But in a way, it did. It didn't have the instant impact he wanted. But we'll talk about that in a moment. Quote, I will do what I can to repair this with Jay, and I will do better in the future, he added. For one, he cannot repair this with Jay. He opened a can of worms. It's like nailing a virgin for the first time and saying, well, I'm going to put the virginity back. You can't do that. It's gone. He painted an image on this person, so now people are going to assume he's guilty in the public uh, image of being in a hate group because you didn't like who he chose to do business with. That is not something you can repair. And I love it. I will do better in the future. I will believe it when I see it. Tom King has diarrhea of the mouth. He is full of crap. King then wrote, I'm not going to offer explanations because they sound like excuses. And I'm not asking for forgiveness or understanding. I'm just saying I see what I did. And I'm going to try to make up for it. Thank you. You know, I am about forgiveness. The forgiveness is good. But let's be honest, this is not a man that asked for forgiveness. 
This is not a man that truly gave his sorry. He was sorry that he failed. He was sorry because he did not collect the cha-ching that he expected of cancel currency from this. It didn't quite go the way he wanted because when he did this, there was an outpour on social media defending Mr. Lee like crazy. This was bullcrap. I also like this. I have kept up the tweets up to this point in order to show that I was not hiding my actions. I will now take them down. No, you will take them down now because you made a fool of yourself. You probably should take the Dean Cain ones down too when you made a douche of yourself there as well while you're at it. Why don't you just take the whole thing? Take your Twitter down because evidently you are not man enough and mature enough to handle a Twitter account in the first place. That, my friend, is Tom King. Now, why? They put here, what do you make of Tom King's apology? This is where I want to go deeper. So I hope you stuck to this point. They're going a little deeper into this. But before we do, just remember, I like to remember I said some of my videos, I like to do things about being more financially careful. Remember, we're in a time of trouble right now, and we get some stimulus, and some, we might be getting another one coming up supposedly in some areas. Maybe before you jump off to using that to self-soothe and buy something that maybe you really shouldn't, maybe look at what you have already. Is there things that you can use that you already have that you can get as much enjoyment out of? That way you can use that money and better use it on bills or something of that nature. With that out of the way, though, let's talk about that. The further damage. This guy here, that wasn't enough. He opened the can and he knew it, and now he tries to pack away and distance himself. What he really did is he set off a bomb, Tom King did, and then backed away from the damage and went... Hopefully nobody notices it with me. Because the Whisper Networks are out there crowing. You've got people like Heather Antos. You've got people like Gail Simone and things like that. That there are now. Now they're coming out to bite the heels of Mr. J. Lee. Now smoke's cleared a little bit. Okay, he took the heat. Now we can take the jabs at him. And they are. Oh, we're waiting for any accountability. I mean, it's ridiculous. You definitely look at like Heather Antos's tweets and things like and Gail Simone thinks you'll see. Uh, Quan, you know, the Kwanzer group and all that stuff, all those groups it, back in the networks, they're all buying. Because why? They want to take Jay Lee down. Because they don't care about minorities. They, he's a minority, but it's okay to take him down. What they really care about is self preservation and getting somebody else's job. Your art isn't good enough to cut it. You can't beat Jay Lee by drawing. You've got to take them down in other ways. So you take them down by associating and connecting them to a supposed hate group, which you can't even prove to be a hate group. Oh, you can see my issues with this. So what do you think of Tom King? I think he's been a crappy writer lately. I, I mean, I'm not saying everything is written bad. His Batman was absolutely terrible, but I think he's a crappy person. I really, I, I, at this point, he with a fake apology... He just got caught and is trying to hide it. But that's my views, not yours. I'd like to know your thoughts and your opinions. So please let me know in the comments. And thank you for listening. Until next time, keep it frugal. I want to make sure I take a moment to thank the people that helped make this video possible. I consider you producers of this channel and of this show. Without your support, these videos would not be possible. So I'd like to thank Rats, Thomas Boom, Hotside, Warren JV, Moonshot, A Penny for Your Dimes. I also want to thank the people that like to remain anonymous and anybody else that has contributed to this channel in the past. Without your support, these videos would not be possible. If you find yourself in a position you can help and you want to see your name here too as a producer credit, go ahead and look down in the links below. There will be a Patreon, a subscribe star, as well as a one-time donation, and you can see your name up here too. Thank you.